excited for this video. Six, five, four, three, two, one year old Gloria is like screaming. I was such a big fan of Selena as every other little Latin girl growing up in the world back in the 90s. Uh, I loved her. I loved her. I remember I used to get like paid like by my uncles and like my aunts and stuff. Like they would pay me to sing Selena songs for them and like perform like at family parties. Anyways, I'm so excited that I was able to get my hands on this Mac collection because honestly I thought it was gonna be sold out, but it wasn't. I'm gonna do a look with the Selena stuff. I'm not necessarily gonna try and do like a Selena look because I don't think I look like her at all. Also, I don't really know what her makeup style is she was a very glamorous queen that's for damn sure and she loved her red lipstick but you know who's not like the most glamorous queen and who doesn't love red lipstick that's why no, 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 no. don't put words in my mouth please ask for my consent first i just don't like the way red lipstick looks on me let's get that straight and out of the way i love how red lipstick looks on other people like my sister but me guys i feel like it just ages me it clashes with my skin tone too much and it just ain't it's I'm gonna put tape on my eyeballs because we're gonna do our eyes. I remember she just had like the biggest, most wildest hair. And I always loved that as a kid because my sister, we love her. But she really wanted to keep me like a perfect little doll and like wanted my hair to be up. I hated that because I always wanted my hair to be down and I always wanted my hair to be wild and like crazy and big. I've always loved big messy hair. Wasn't like that all the time because Nancy got her way there a lot. Um... Where was I going with this whole conversation? I don't know. I'm tired. All I had for breakfast this morning was like a big bowl of oatmeal and bananas and berries and a coffee and some toast. But like that's it. Can we talk about this packaging? Are you kidding me? No mames, Selena. No mames. Oh, anything for Selena. Oh, do you see her? RIP dog, RIP. Is this a sticker? It's not a sticker. So this is what the palette looks like. There are no shade names, although I wish there was. It's a very neutral, very, some pops of color, but not a ton of anything really going on. But it's a very neutral palette that I think you can do a lot with. I'm gonna try and do my best with it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create a little eye look. My mom was the biggest fan of her too. My mom was like obsessed with her because she always told me that's how she used to look when she was younger. And I'm like, I don't know about that mom. Like my mom had a big booty and like some big thighs and a small waist, but my mom was also very tiny. And Selena wasn't necessarily tiny. Like she was cute, like she had a small petite body, but my mom was like a buck 10 at the most. But my mom's cute though. Is my mom watching this? Hi mom. Let's go ahead and grab this shade right here. I'm just gonna blend this all over mis ojitos. This is such a good blending brush that I paid a dollar for. A dollar at Big Lots, which I miss. I still haven't gone to Big Lots. It's been like almost three months since I've been to Big Lots, guys. You know what? A bitch might pop a mask on and go today. It's Friday. We have to live a little. But I probably won't because I'd have to drive there. Does anybody remember their first experience watching the movie Selena? I do. Because it was one of the first movies we watched when we got to the States. My sister was so excited to watch it. We got it at night and she didn't want to wait till the next day. So we watched it at like 10 o'clock at night. And I remember my brother made popcorn. He made a few popcorn bags in the microwave. And he was handing one over to Nancy. And I don't know how I was sitting, but my shirt was a little bit up. Some of my stomach was exposed. And I was like maybe five years old at the time. But I remember this because this, like, volvió bien machín. My brother was passing over a bag to my sister and I was in the middle and some of the hot butter from the bag kind of spilled and it hit my stomach directly. Not my shirt, not my pajamas, no. My actual barely out of the womb skin and it hurt so bad. Oh my God. I remember, like, I jumped up and, and I almost hit my sister in the face and then we watched the movie and it was totally worth it. Honestly, like, good times though. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. I don't know why, it's just calling my name, guys, and I don't know what look I'm kind of going for, but she's wearing a shirt with a collar today, so, you know, things are happening. 
when I was born, so I was born here, born in Yuba City, California. Most of my family was still in Mexico. My family story is crazy and it's one for just another time. But my family was still in Mexico. It was just me, one of my brothers, my mom and my dad here. So I was born here. So all of you guys that have tried me and are like, oh, you're just dating a white guy for, mm -mm, you know what? I'm not dating a white guy just for his <clears throat> you know what with my boyfriend for his good looks everybody knows that it's not like he has a personality or anything i'm a superficial hoe and you guys know that but anywho and i was like three months when they took me back and we were supposed to only be there for like three to six months three to six months turned into three years like to the point where i got double vaccinated or triple vaccinated because my mom lost my immunization records like thrice so yeah that's just my long-winded way of telling you guys uh, i'm terrified of needles but yeah when we went back to mexico my dad had to come back to the united states because this is where he worked so it was just me my mom my sister and my four brothers and i was the baby not just of my family but like of the entire household because we lived with my grandparents at the time so we had a tv and we had a stereo guess what was one of the first things i ever learned how to work the television. I swear I've been obsessed with television my whole life. But the second thing I learned how to work almost immediately was the stereo. And my mom said that there was this one time where my mom left me in the kitchen. And the kitchen was, because we had such a wide, not a big house, but we had a wide house in Mexico. And I was so little. She said, you were maybe two or one wanting to be two really bad. I was walking at the time. My mom was like, you were sitting at the kitchen table. And then I turned around for like a few minutes because I was making breakfast for every Everybody. and then I lost you I turned around and you weren't there anymore and I was like I don't know mom I probably had to go poop or something and she was like nah bitch you weren't potty trained I'm gonna go in with this one now just kidding we're gonna go in with this one so anyways, my mom lost me because she's a really good parent. She said, I searched the kitchen. I searched the bathroom that was right next to the kitchen, the room that was right next to the kitchen. Again, the house that I grew up in Mexico was very sparse. The rooms weren't necessarily close together. There was hallways up the butthole. And so she was like, I got so scared. I asked all of your brothers. I told them to go look for you down the street because one of the doors was open and the gate to the freaking street was open. And we got really scared. So I sent your brothers down the street. Your sister was searching the yard. Somehow I ended up in the roof. And then all of a sudden, I just heard the stereo come on and Selena start playing because my mom had a stereo again. And the only albums she had in there were Selena albums at the time. My mom was like, I ran into the room once I heard the music and I just saw you literally laying down on a pillow, drinking from your bottle and listening to Selena music. Because I was also like addicted to the nipple. Not my mom's. I never brought but I thought that shit was gross. But like my bottle, I was like, ugh. I think I didn't stop drinking out of a bottle till I was like four or five. Like I was the bad baby. Shout out to getting braces like 13 years later though. And so my mom was like, what are you doing? Cause I guess I talked at the time cause I was a very intelligent, smart baby. And I was like, I'm listening to Selena. And from that point forward, she knew that when she would lose me, I either would go turn on the television or I would go and just listen to music. And I was also that baby that dragged around my blanket when I was tired and I would just either hand it to people and I'd be like, put me to sleep. Now that I think of it, I've always been like a to the point, no nonsense type of bitch. I guess I did that with my grandpa, my sister, and my mom the most. Here's my blanket, here I am, carry me, put me to sleep, please, I'm tired. And that's literally how I am to this day. I don't drag around a blanket when I do follow my boyfriend around and I'm like, put me to sleep, hold me, love me, touch me. So not much has changed, but yeah. There was also that one time I got my hand stuck in a train station door. Selena's not involved in any way, shape, or form in that whole situation. I just thought I should tell you. My mom always says that like out of all her children, I was one of the easiest ones. I was super calm. I was easy. I never fussed when it came to going to sleep. Again, I was that baby that I was like, here, just put my ass to sleep, okay? She was like, you were always so curious and I always had to keep you kind of like entertained with something. But after a while, like after you learned how to walk, basically you always knew how to entertain yourself and you always just wanted to be alone. And I said, Bitch, if that's not the truth to this day, I do 
like always want to be alone and i don't know why like i think i've always been like such a little introvert she was like i used to hate it when you used to beg for me to have your cousin sleep over and this is also like my cousin ariana who now actually like works with me that was like my bitch and she also loves selena like to this day we still bond over selena like when i got this collection she was actually mad jealous and there's a couple products that are I'm probably gonna give to her in this collection but she was one of my cousins that i always wanted her to sleep over and my mom would always get mad because she'd be like mija you want her to sleep over you have her over for like three hours and then you're sick of her and then you're done and then you just go into your room and then you ignore her and i was like mom hey madre mommy calm down girl it's not gonna happen this time like we already planned it out check it so we're gonna watch selena like three times in a row and then we're gonna go raid the refrigerator for everything that has any amount of sugar or caffeine in it we're gonna stay awake all night and we're gonna talk about boys and our changing bodies okay i'm gonna dress her up she's gonna dress me up i'm gonna play do her makeup i'm gonna strap on some tattoos with her with a sharpie it's gonna be a great time and my mom was like you're gonna do one and a half of those things who at the most and then you're gonna get tired somehow i always kind of convinced her though and she would end up staying the night but sure as poopy i would get so like i wouldn't get annoyed with her and i wouldn't get irritated with her or i might have but it's honestly not her and i tell her this to this day there's just comes a point where i just wanted to be alone like we would watch our little selena movie on repeat we were singer songs we would put together our little musicals but after all of that i was like oh. so like when are my tia and tío gonna come pick you up dog because she needs her space and this was like seven year old me through like 26 year old me like to this day we'll hang out all day but there's still moments where i'm like so like when are you gonna go home now because like i want to be alone <laughs> i'm gonna do my winged eyeliner now and i'm gonna use this dark ass brown anybody else like that okay i'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and my all that lips i have a few lip liners from mac i have which is the nude one which is high key what we're gonna be doing but i will swatch the red one for you guys okay i will try it this one is in the shade selenaville selenaville anything for selenas yo oh and this is like a berry red i just don't think this would be for me sis not at all i'll keep them just in case i really do want to try them out but i am going to go ahead and try this lip liner because damn And then we have this kind of nudish one, which is in the shade Inolvidable. And look at the packaging. There's a floor. That's a pretty color. Oh no, I got two nudes. Ha! Ah! I think I thought I got the red one. Yeah, we're definitely doing this one. Selena Vive, that's my yam. Oh, she got the glots. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lips real quick, guys. Probably gonna take a minute, okay? I'm gonna put on some Selena. Yo, this is a pretty combination. Like I said, this was a Selena makeup look with her products. This was not a Selena inspired look. I'm not trying to look like her, okay? I don't think anybody can really look like the queen except like JLo, who is the queen in her own damn right. This is the Hyper Real Glow by MAC. Why is it packaged like this is something I could find at TJ Maxx? Oh, we're definitely gonna grab the peach shade because this reminds me of an elf baked highlight that I used to have that I broke. Definitely what we're gonna be playing with because this is not only such a pretty highlight color, but like such a pretty like kind of blush topper. Did Selena ever highlight? That's a good question. Oh, that's so pretty. That's very pretty, very dainty. It's not exaggerated. I and that's that. Okay, so I basically loved everything from this collection. I will say the eyeshadows were very easy to work with, but then again, they're MAC shadows, so we all knew they were gonna be good. Sometimes though, in collections, I'm not gonna name any brands, but some brands do get lazy and think that it's just gonna sell because they stamp their name of it. I will say that MAC stay true to their formulation and stay true to giving us really good products. And they still did it in a collab form and they slapped a queen's, a queen's name on it. And I love everything I bought the lip liner the lip color this gloss is so pretty this one is in the shade bd bd bum bum by the way but i love everything and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one